So let's talk a little bit about a, an issue here. And it's a big issue. Because as I said before, we've got this fantasy that we're totally broke. And that there's somehow not enough money to do anything. And that is a very powerful fantasy because pushed the right way, it can make you the Republican nominee for Vice President of the United States. But it can also shut down discourse about doing anything that we've talked about today. You can't do health care reform because we're broke. You can't uh, protect Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security because we're broke. You can't fund schools because we're broke. We're broke, we're broke, we're broke. And you ask yourself, well, where, where is the money? Where is the money? And Keith Ellison, I'm going to bring our friend Michael Lighty in here to talk about it. He's talked about it a little bit already. But Keith, you found the money. I have found the money. <laughs> so, John, thank you so much, and I appreciate it. Let me tell you, um, the money is in the hands of the most privileged and well-to-do Americans, uh, many of whom uh, churn, and I don't say trade, I mean churn, uh, stocks, bonds, and derivatives on Wall Street. So one of the ways for us as Americans to recoup the money is to tax them when they do uh, these, these churning of, of these financial assets. It's a transaction tax. It is appropriately named by its most, advocate, most, most vigorous advocates, the, the Robin Hood tax. Some people have donned yeah, the uh, very, very bold fashion uh, statement of a Robin Hood hat. Uh, stand up if you're wearing a Robin Hood hat. That's right. Let's see our Robin Hoods there. There you go. Look, at now this is becoming the very... This, I guarantee you, Keith, this is going to be the fashion statement of the convention. You've got to make this fashion statement. If you're not with your Robin Hood hat, you're just poorly dressed. That's it. <laughs> and so that's where, the, that's where some of the money is. There's a lot of there's some money overseas. There's, there's, the money is there, but... John, your essential point is absolutely positively correct, and that is we're not broke. We're not broke. And John, you mentioned a few things. They said we were too broke to do, too broke for food stamps, too broke for Head Start, too broke to fix the crumbling infrastructure of our nation. And I'm from a place where we had a bridge fall into the Mississippi River because we didn't want to fix our bridge because we were too broke. But as it turns out, we got plenty of money. It's just not in the hands of the American people because the people with so much of the wealth bought um, lobbyists and uh, influence uh, to try to s get loopholes for themselves so that they would not have to help pay for uh, the civilization that is, uh, is America. So we're going to have a transaction tax. And uh, Mr. Lighty has got the very fine detail but I just want you to know that this kind of thing can work if Americans will get behind it. Will you get behind it or that bill? It's a big deal. If, you get, if you're going to introduce that bill, you've got to get people at home to go and tell members of Congress to sign on. If you will go to your member of Congress and say, you've got to get on the Robin Hood bill, being sponsored by Keith Ellison and others, uh, then they will get on, hopefully, and we will get the kind of support we need to pass the bill. But look, this is not... This is, this is a people's movement, right? And what? This is a people's movement, right? This is the people's movement. Possessed by the people. The movement of the people. And that means that the people got to play a role in the movement. Right? This is, not a, this is not a John Nichols thing or a Keith Ellison thing or a Mr. Lighty thing. This is a us thing, all of us. And uh, John, you're right. There's a process here we got we to gotta pursue. So we're dropping the bill next week. And we need your support. And uh, it's not going to be easy, but uh, we can win it if we stick together and don't back down. That's a very big deal, brothers and sisters. You understand, this is a dynamic that we're in here. You have a member of Congress telling you about the beginning of the process. You're in when it's starting, not, getting, not hearing it nine-tenths down the way where you got beat once again. You're hearing where you can get in at the beginning. I'm looking out. I'm loving these caps on you people, too. You look very Robin Hoodie. Michael Lighty. Michael, this is an interesting dynamic, and it re relates to the politics that we talk about. You spent, there, are, there have been some other proposals on financial transactions tax uh, by some very good people, very honorable folks, but uh, your union, working with international unions, has been on this for quite a while, determining what the right approach was, and you were not satisfied with all the different attempts at it. So you went looking 
for a member of Congress who would step up and, and really advance this cause. Why was it important? Why not? You know, so many things we do in politics, we just like, oh, let's get the idea out there, do the best we can. You wanted a specific approach to this. Tell us why. Well, it, it, it comes down to the courage that it takes for Congressman Ellison to do this is remarkable because every Democrat will tell you about Congress that Wall Street runs this place. And to take on Wall Street is an amazing act of principle and of commitment to the people's movement and a commitment to this country. You mean there's so, an outside chance he may not get a lot of hedge fund donations after Well, it is this? possible. It is possible. <laughs> And the, and the folks who have other proposals for a transaction tax have taken, that, have taken that fight on, too. And so they should be applauded. They're the ones who first told me about what it takes to take on Wall Street. So that, it's not really a question there of, like, uh, these are, as you say, John, these are good folks. The issue here is, is that Congressman Ellison is taking it on because we have the potential with this tax to raise up to $350 billion a year oh, to fund human oh, needs. I, oh, 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 $350 billion? That's right, a That's year. That's a lot of money. It, it does. It That's makes like the, what they spend on wars or bank bailouts. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. And it makes you know, the, the Bush tax cuts, significant as they are, they're small in comparison, frankly. Because there is so much money, that is where the money is. Uh, 27 to 40 percent of the profits in this country come from the finance sector. 17 percent, maybe even as much as 20 percent of the so-called 1 percent that we hear so much about, are in the finance and insurance and real estate industry. This is the heart of the uh, finance sector, the heart of the American economy, that is responsible for so much of the damage that was created as a result of the financial crisis. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, the $17 trillion that Alan Grayson mentioned the Federal Reserve has committed to the finance sector has produced nothing for Main Street. Mm -hmm. the, remember, the, uh, the fundamental purpose of TARP was homeowner relief in addition to bank bailout. They got the bailout, we got sold out. Mm -hmm. And we're still waiting for our share. So why not a tiny tax, a sales tax on these transactions, 0.5 percent, 50 cents on $100 on stock mm -hmm. trades. These companies are going, one company went bankrupt because the automated trades are so bad mm -hmm. for business. Productive investment is a thing of the past on well, Wall Street. And we, should, we should pause you there and let you explain this to folks. This is an important thing. This is not simply taxing Wall Street. This is actually slowing Wall Street down on the trading to a point where it's functional and responsible, so that we, it actually addresses booms and busts and, and things of that nature it by stabilizes. making speculate Exactly. Exactly. It stabilizes the market because the market has become a place where speculators on very small margins are trying to game the system and essentially gamble, not invest. Mm -hmm. The difference between gambling and investment is real. And they're, and they're selling and buying at such a pace through these algorithms that are computer generated that, um, frankly, the American economy doesn't benefit, but the few do. And we're going after those few. And, and some the, of these at the end of the day, I believe that, and this is one of the reasons with the Progressive Caucus, is that we're, we, we're trying to, we have a political wing where we are trying to populate Congress with more progressives. Because we believe that if we get enough progressives in Congress, the effect will be that people will support common sense, good ideas, even no matter what the moneyed interests want to say or do. And so we've got, but we can't get the moneyed interests out, then pursue the transaction tax. We've got to do both at the same time. And if you will demand, if you will demand that your member get on the bill, then we could get there. Thank you, Keith Ellison. Michael Leidy, before we finish up on this element here, I want to do one thing, and that is just National Nurses United has committed immense amounts of resources to this. This is not a specific area of your work. You, know, you work with nurses, you organize hospitals, but you've gone deep into this thing with a, with a domestic and global commitment. And you plan a national campaign, a huge national campaign, on behalf of what Keith is proposing. Tell us a little about what you're going to do and tell people how they can get engaged with it. Well, it's uh, it, Karen Higgins, co-president of National Nurses United, will tell you nurses often get asked, why are the nurses doing this? 
And the fact is, this is part of a broader campaign, nurses campaign to heal America. And the reason nurses are doing this is to provide the resources to heal our country. We know a better world is possible, and now we know how to pay for it. And nurses live with that commitment, rooted in their values of caring and compassion, building community every day. They never give up. That's what they do. That's what you know they do when you've been in the hospital. They bring that passion and commitment to this issue because they know who has the money and they know we need to take it back for our country. What we're doing, PDA has already done brown bag vigils. They do them every month. They've done a brown bag vigil on this issue, including this issue. Going to district offices and members of Congress, asking them to sign on to the Ellison Bill, Inclusive Prosperity Act is its formal title. We call it the Robin Hood tax. This bill, we've done 50 visits to congressional offices around the country on this bill during the August work period. We're, we're, gonna be, we're working with Congressman Ellison's office to get those folks on the bill when he introduces it next week. We're gonna be doing media around this, where it's part of the S-17 events, which are the one year anniversary of Occupy Wall Street. We're gonna be doing a National Day of Action on October 2nd. That's the day before the anniversary of the TARP bailout. So what we're asking members of Congress to do is calendar the Main Street bailout. We wanna be celebrating on October 2nd, 2013, the saving of Main Street. Just like on the four year anniversary of the TARP bailout, we'll be noticing the bailout of Wall Street. It's time for us to take it back. So that's, those are the fall events. Then we're gonna be going, we're working this issue in every election campaign we can. That's why we wanna introduce the bill now, to make it an issue. We think it should be on the table when Congress looks at how they're going to fund these essential services, how they're gonna create jobs in this country, how they're gonna rebuild the infrastructure of this country, how they're gonna guarantee healthcare in this country, secure retirement, this should be on the table not cutting Medicaid, not cutting food stamps, tax Wall Street. And that's the national movement we're gonna build with Congressman Ellison and with all of you.